My name is Natalie. Hi, my name is Brindley. We're the co-founders and executive team for Rise. During the pandemic, our family members started selling food online. Though they had great products, sales were less than adequate as they were unable to optimize digital marketing platforms, which limited their customers. After doing further research, we discovered that in Indonesia, 36% small medium enterprises in the food and beverage industry lost up to 60% of revenues or were completely forced to stop operating during the pandemic. Many SMEs are going digital for the first time and are unprepared to adapt their businesses to the digital world. They are losing out competition from large, digitally integrated food businesses with robust marketing strategies, consequently hampering their growth potential. From a customer standpoint, the pandemic has made food safety more critical than ever. 52% people now saying food safety is a top three global issue. As major food applications in Indonesia don't address food safety, we believe that there is a huge gap for bridging SMEs and customer needs. Thus, we analyze the situation from two different angles, SMEs as vendors and retail customers as end users. There are three major problems with current food delivery applications. Difficult registration process, costliness, and lack of supporting services. Sellers find it difficult to register on food applications as they lack knowledge to do so, receive no life assistance, and experience lengthy registration processes taking up weeks or even months. There are 500,000 sellers on major food applications like Gojek as they appeal to the largest audience, making it highly saturated market for SMEs to enter to. In terms of cost, major food applications have commission fees of 20% or more. They also lack supporting services crucial to sellers' growth, including photography, design, copywriting, and consulting services, thus adding very little value to SMEs. Additionally, there are three major problems that end users experience with current food applications, like a food safety standards, difficult navigation systems, and lack of curated quality sellers. Current food applications, GoFood and GrabFood, do not guarantee the food safety or quality of the products on their platform, nor do they curate quality sellers, making the choices of sellers overwhelming. This is where Rise comes in. Rise is a food service platform and social enterprise offering highly specialized services dedicated in scaling up SMEs in the food and beverage industry. Rise targets SMEs run by non-digital natives, offering high-quality homemade food with proven track record and continuous sales minimum of one year in the market. First, ease of registration is the biggest problem we solve. By providing line assistance to sellers in registering and completely digitizing our registration processes, we are able to cut registration period to one week, making it easy for new sellers to come join our platform. Next, we tackle costs by cutting down commission fees to 10% for each sale of item, half of other food applications. Finally, the largest problem we solve was the lack of supporting services. Upon on joining Rise, sellers receive a comprehensive business assessment and free professional photography services. We will also provide supporting services at low prices by collaborating with local service providers. These services will increase revenue growth expectancy by 2.8 times, which makes Rise a platform fully tailored to SMEs. Next, Rise targets app users in the middle upper segment. First, we address food safety standards by ensuring that sellers meet our food safety assessments upon registration. Next, we tackle ease of navigation by creating intuitive categories and using appealing visuals by providing professional photography and copywriting services to sellers that join our platform. Finally, we curate our sellers, limiting our vendors to only 2,000 high quality vendors, giving users assurance of food safety and quality when they order from Rise. When it comes to fulfilling deliveries, we will use existing structures that are already widely known to our customers to eliminate in-house delivery services. When designing Rise, we gave it eight unique features that sets it apart from competition, including lower seller fees, savvy digital marketing campaigns with top-notch influencers, freemium supporting services, including photography, copywriting, designing, and consultation services, free educational content in the form of videos and articles published by top marketing gurus in Indonesia, flexible pre-order dates that allow sellers to set extended pre-order dates for certain products, food safety standards, live assistance in registering, and finally, customer feedback section. Promotions-wise, we will get Rise off the ground by promoting targeted ads on social media, collaborations with influencers, and possibly collaborating with the Indonesian government, whose goals are to digitize all SMEs in Indonesia by 2030. In summary, here's what Rise eliminates, raises, reduces, and creates. When we compared Rise to competitors, for a lower commission fee, we still offered a higher level of curated qualified sellers, better quality visuals, and superior food safety standards. Thus, Rise creates a whole new blue ocean industry by creating a completely new market. 
There is a largely untapped market for rice aiming at SMEs. Our current market targets small enterprises estimated at $13.3 billion. Assuming we capture 5% of the market equal to $665 million, we plan to expand to medium enterprise market with average sales of $2 million per annum, which is an even bigger market at $120 billion. If we capture 5%, that's equal to $665 million. Finally, we see future growth in regional markets in Southeast Asia. These markets have billions of dollars in potential value and millions of possible customers. We generate profit from 10% commission fees that we charge sellers, premium services, and advertising, providing us with a recurring revenue stream crucial for future expansion. We will launch in the 10 biggest cities in Indonesia. In our first year, we will generate $15 million in revenue. In our third year, we will cater towards medium enterprises with much higher potential. At the end of five years, our accumulated revenue will total of $240 million. And in our sixth year, we will expand to Southeast Asian markets, making this opportunity extremely lucrative. In summary, RISE makes it possible for SMEs to thrive digitally with a social mission of scaling up SMEs. So let's make it happen.